What's up guys, Shane Butler from Mustang Gym. Today I wanna to give you a little information on training the biceps. Every bro loves training some biceps. So one thing I wanna focus on is angles in which you train your bicep, okay? You're going to get different uh, stimulation in the muscle and you're gonna get different resistance through the, the curve, different resistance curve, depending on the angle of your, your shoulder your in the humerus uh, whenever you're placing that, that load in your bicep. So obviously you start up just standing up. When you're standing up, the load is heaviest or the most amount of tension into the bicep is right about 90 degrees, okay? So you're going to get the most recruitment out of the bicep right here in this range. Not so much at the bottom and not when it's all the way at the top. Another way you want to train is a preacher curl. You guys will see a lot of people doing uh, preacher curls. Well, the reason why is because it's going to change that stimulant to where the load is hardest at the bottom half or a quarter of the curl, and then it gets easier at the top. The weight's just falling back into you. Okay, that's why when you see people cheating that, that curl, they're only about halfway down, whether they know it or not, they're taking that load off, off their bicep. You just need to reduce the weight in follow through, get full range of motion before you start increasing that weight. The third angle would be behind your back. So usually doing this on a uh, incline bench, you know, uh, do this at a higher than 45 degree angle, okay? Just, just slightly back from, from 90 degrees, not way back. Just kind of let the, the stress in your, your biceps tendon be your guide. Don't go so far back that you're tearing your biceps tendon from the labrum or something like that. But now, when, you, when you're in that position, it's easier until you get towards the top. So now you've hit all three aspects of that curve. Hardest, hardest at the bottom, hardest at the top, and hardest in the middle, okay? Now you got that. Uh, the the uh, long head of the bicep is the head out here. So another angle you wanna hit is across the body because as you see this in the mirror, I know you don't have a problem looking in the mirror when you're doing your biceps, then this is the head that is getting the most resistance. If you turn out here like this, now you're gonna be hitting the short head of the biceps. The reason this is called the short head and this is the long head is because that long head passes through the shoulder and it also has uh, some assistance here in shoulder flexion, assist the delts, and like if you're doing a front raise, it assists in that. So. Other exercises like chin-ups, where you're going through that motion, are really going to give you a lot of biceps recruitment. If you don't have a lot of time, if you're only training three days a week, you're probably not going to get just an arm day where you can hit all these things. So stick with your compound movements. It'll give you an, enough so that you at least stay symmetric. But if you can train five, six days a week, then by all means, have, have days where you put more effort into those arms, all right? Um, your muscles will be stimulated for about 48 hours. So you can hit every muscle group at least twice in a week to, to get the maximum effort. I never train just an arm day or just a leg day, but the more days that I have to train in the week, the more I still break that up. But everything's gonna get hit at least twice a week. All right, until next time, you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, send them my way, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. It's 405-256-0745, uh, or hit me up on Facebook. It's uh, Mustang Jim 24-7, and you know where I'm at. Train hard, and God bless.